Hello everyone, my name is Hui, a 14 years old student from Zati Secondary School. Today, I want to talk about an issue that's deeply concerning to me and our peers, school violence. What is school violence? School violence is a form of harmful behavior that can happen during school premises or during school related activities. It includes physical acts like fighting or bullying and emotional and psychological abuse such as threats, taunts, and online harassment. Now, school violence affects all of us, teachers, parents, and students alike. It does not only cause physical harm, but also long-lasting psychological trauma. Victims of school violence often suffer from anxiety, depression, and low self-esteem. They may lose interest in school, which leads them to poor academic performance and even dropping out. But not only the victims who suffered, perpetrators of school violence also have their own problems they are dealing with which leads them to act out in the first place. The witnesses of school violence also experience negative effects such as the feeling of fear and helplessness. By the end of 2022, saw a particularly disturbing incident at Fumzhou Secondary School, where a 9th grade student was physically assaulted by a fellow student with a helmet and indulged in slush. The incident, which was seen by several people who failed to intervene, was posted on social media and live streamed on Facebook. It is a relief that no serious injuries were reported and it is hoped that interventions will prevent further such occurrences. They say in Vietnam, classes that teach us about school violence are not popular and often not be seriously taken. Many children who suffered from school violence often not reach out to their parents because they are threatened by the bully. This is such a miserable reality. Now, there are many ways to prevent this problem. It's all up to you. Learning some type of basic life skills and know some type of martial arts to defend yourself is what you could do right now. Also, if you ever came across a case, be sure not to encourage the bully and try to reach out to a trustable adult as soon as possible. Most importantly, we should raise the people's awareness about this problem and try to spread the message, no more school violence for a better future for us all. School should be a safe place for everyone to learn and grow without fear. We should all stand against school violence for a better environment. Now, I believe that if we work together, we could put an end to school violence. And I hope that you will all stand against school violence with me and try to spread the message, no more school violence, so we can all learn and grow without fear. Thanks for your attention and goodbye.